Do you know which element will make your blog posts more readable and your landing pages and sales pages more structured? Hi, I'm Hannah from Thrive Teams and the element we're talking about is the list element. Now you might be thinking that a list element is pretty boring, but give me a moment because I'm going to show you how to take your list game to the next level. Now, as you can see here on this page, we have a paragraph and reading this paragraph would take a while. It's not very structured and it's not super easy to scan. What we can do is add a list in here. So first of all, let's separate this and then we can choose here to add an unordered list. Now let's quickly do this. As you can see now, this paragraph looks already a lot more structured and it will be much easier to read this. But the problem with this normal unordered list is that you can't change anything. These little icons that are in front of the list are selected by your theme and this is not something that you can easily change unless you know how to use CSS. Luckily, you don't have to because we have a better solution and it's called the styled list. The styled list is an element in Thrive Architect. You can either scroll and find it in the list or you can search for it here. So let's put list and then you can see the styled list. Let's add this on the page. As you can see here, we have icons and then we have our text element. Now changing the icon becomes super simple. Click on the icon and then from here you can select from a whole bunch of icons that you can use for your list. Now that is just the beginning. Let me show you some other things that you can do with this list item. Now, maybe you have a review website and you use pros and cons list in your reviews, or maybe on your sales page, you have a list that states whom this offer is for and whom this is not for, which is by the way, always a good idea to have on your sales page. Now you could use one of these nice styled lists to show very visually what this section is about. Now I made some here and I'll show you now how you can make them yourself. So let's go to our elements, choose the styled list and drag it on the page. From here, we can see that we have different elements in this styled list. First of all, we have the complete list and in the sidebar, you will see options that will apply to the complete list. So if now you change the fonts, for example, then this will change all the fonts on this list. And if you change the background style, it will change the background on this complete list. When you click on the separate elements, you will notice that you have the icon element, so we can change everything about this icon. And here we have also the list item, and then you also have the inline text. So these are the three elements that you can style completely separately one from the other. And that's exactly what we want to do to get one of these lists, for example. So here we want to select it the list item and we want to give it a background color. Let's pick green. Let's change our icon. So click on the icon, change it here to a thumbs up. Make this icon white. And then we can also change the text. So from here we can change the text color. Let's make this white too. And now, as you can see, we have this nicely rounded corners that are on the upper left and on the lower right corner. And the way to do this is again, let's select this and go into our borders and corners. And from here, we can go into our rounded corners. So let's select the upper left corner and make this 10 pixels. And let's do the same with this lower right corner and make this 10 pixels too. Now to make the cons list, we would simply copy this list and drag it in the column next to it. And then we can change everything. So we can go ahead and change the background color from here, make it red. And we can change the thumbs up to be a thumbs down. So click on the icon and make this down. So that's it. That's how easy it was to make this first list. Now, let me show you how to make this second list, because there are a few more tricks that you will learn while making this list. 
Again, let's go into our styled lists, drag it on the page. And now here you can see that we only customized the icon. So I will click on the icon. Let's make this already the plus. Change the icon color to white and change the background color to be green. Now the way we manage to have this nice border around only the upper and the left corner is we added first of all an upper border of five pixels on top of this, but we made it a white border so you actually can't see it. And then on the left we also use this five pixels and white again. And now to get this little line around it, we actually used a shadow. So that's one of the fun things that you can do with shadows and we have a tutorial all about that. So you can use a drop shadow with only a one pixel spread, no blur and no distance. And this will actually give you a line around. So let's make this green. Now, as you can see, the icon is close to the text and the way you would fix this is by adding a margin to this icon. So here we can put a 10 pixel margin. You can find this in layout and positioning. Now, this is the way you would make one of these fun lists. But now you might be wondering if you can do this also with numbers and the answer is Yes, we also have an element that is called the numbered list. And these are some things that I'll show you how to do with the numbered list. So first of all, instead of choosing the styled list, let's go to the numbered list and add it on the page. So from here, you can see that we have the exact same element. So the full numbered list, the icon, the inline text, and then the list item. And all of them you can customize again. So from here, let's say that we change this typography to be a new font. So here, let's make this Playfair. Apply. We make this font much bigger. And now the way that we have this nice vertical divider is by adding a border to only one side of the icon. So from here we can click on it and make this a solid border. Now, as you can see, this doesn't look perfect yet. This element is too close to each other and maybe we want to change the height of this element a little bit. Now, what you can do always with the elements is use the margins and the padding. So first of all, let's go into our icons element and to push the list a bit further. So the list element, the text will put a 10 pixel um, margin on this. And then to change here the height above the element or so above the one, we can make this a little smaller. So now this already looks much better. And if you want to make it very precise, you can go into this list element and from here you can also add paddings. So that is how you would make this numbered list with the vertical divider there. Now, are you ready to see how you could make this list with rounded numbers? It's very easy. And I think by now you might be able to figure it out by yourself, but let me show you. So a numbered list, let's put it under this one. And from here, let's give this a background color. So let's choose our dark blue. Let's make the text white. And in order to get it rounded, we would use the borders and corners and all of them. So this is the middle and make it 100. Now, as you can see, this is not perfectly round. And the reason for this is that the number actually has a line height. So even though the padding is 10 padding all around, it's not a perfect circle. So you would play around with these paddings a little bit so that you get the perfect circle. Now, the reason for this is that with every font, it will be a little bit different, but you can easily fix it as you can see. And now let's push this text a bit further too. Let's go one step further. As you can see, this list is even more sophisticated, but it's just as easy to do. So from there, let's again put our numbered lists. 
And let's start by changing the font. So from here, we will choose another font. In this case, let's choose Able. And make it a lot taller. And instead of having a solid color on the background here, we can use a gradient. So go to your background style and add a gradient from there. Like this. And then the white can stay and the black, I actually wanted to have this purplish color. Okay, so let's apply this. And now the font, we want it to be white. So from here, let's go to white. And the way you would get this number outlined in the bottom corner is by playing with these paddings. So we can add extra padding to the left side and to the top. And then take out the padding on the bottom and reduce it here to the side. So that is how you can change the positioning of this number on this background. Now to get this effect with the background on the list item, you can select the list item and then in the background style, we can choose for a pattern. So this would add our pattern in there. And we can also add a white color. And now let's put the pattern on top of the white color. So we can select this and drag it underneath it. And now we have this effect of the white background and the pattern on top of it. As you can see here, we have a little space and that is actual padding. So you can take it out here. This allows for the icon to go right to the border of the list item. And then I would also, again, add a little bit more space between this and the list text. So from here, we could add an extra margin, so 10 pixel margin. And we also added a shadow. So when we click on this list item again, we can add a drop shadow. And let's make this a little bit more subtle. So let's reduce the distance, something like this. Now, as you can see, you can really customize everything in this list item and you can make this type of numbered list and bullet list that will really stand out on your landing pages, on your sales pages and in your blog posts, such as your review blog posts for affiliates, for example. But that's not all. Let me show you where the power really comes in for this list. As you can see here, I have a list, but I have three different icons. And the way to do this, and you might have already noticed this when I was showing this list item, is when you click on an item, you can see that you have this group editing, but you can also unlock this group editing. So let's quickly make this layout. So first of all, we want this to be envelopes. Let's give this a background color. change the icon to white. And this effect is done with a shadow. So let's add a drop shadow here. Now, as you can see, this is very similar to this list element, but here we have different icons. So how do we do that? Well, you click on the icon you unlock the icon. So at this point, you're only editing this very specific icon. And then we choose for an open envelope. And now let's do the same with this last icon. So again, this is still grouped with our first icon. We can ungroup it and then we can change it to be a pointer. As you can see, this icon automatically stays the same color and everything else. So it will save you a lot of time to first do everything in group and then maybe change what you want to adapt only for uh, certain elements. And now what happens if you decided that this list you want it to be a round element, for example, instead of a square element? Well, you can actually group this again. So let's click on the ungrouped element, group it again this one to group it again. And now when we click on our grouped elements and when we change our borders, 
to be rounded, you can see that it happens on every element. Now you can do this with the icons, but you can also do this with the inline text and with the list item. So this means that you can really make your lists look exactly the way you want them by using group editing or ungrouped editing and by using the advanced customization options that are available in Thrive Architect. Now, I hope you like this tutorial and that you will use this to make amazing looking lists on your landing pages, on your sales pages. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them below.